dreams, an enigma that has puzzled mankind since the dawn of time. What are they? Why do we dream? These questions have intrigued us for centuries. Dreams, by definition, are a series of thoughts, images and sensations occurring in a person's mind during sleep. They're a natural part of our sleep cycle, but their purpose and meaning remain largely a mystery. Dreams are highly subjective and often mysterious in nature. Each dream is unique to the dreamer, filled with their own symbols, storylines and emotions. They can be vivid and lifelike, making us feel a range of emotions from joy to fear, or they can be abstract and confusing, leaving us scratching our heads in the morning. Dreams have played a significant role throughout history and across cultures. Ancient Greeks saw them as messages from the gods, while Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, believed they were the gateway to our unconscious desires. Today, in our technologically advanced world, we continue to explore and ponder over the enigmatic world of dreams. Dreaming is a universal experience, transcending geographical, cultural and social boundaries. Whether you're a CEO in a bustling city or a farmer in a remote village, dreams are a part of your nightly routine. They can be a source of inspiration, a warning sign, or simply a bizarre series of events that make absolutely no sense. The science behind dreams is as fascinating as the dreams themselves. They occur predominantly during rapid eye movement, or REM, sleep. A stage when our brain is almost as active as when we're awake. The brain, particularly regions like the hippocampus and amygdala, plays a crucial role in our dreams. Neurotransmitters like serotonin and dopamine are also key players in this nightly performance. As we dive into the sleep cycle, we begin to unravel this mystery, exploring the intricate dance between our brain and our dreams. So let's embark on this fascinating journey into the enigma of dreams. Our journey into the realm of dreams begins with understanding the sleep cycle, a repeating pattern that typically spans about 90 minutes and recurs throughout the night. It's a captivating waltz between two primary stages, rapid eye movement or REM sleep, and non-REM sleep. Non-REM sleep is further divided into three stages. Stage one is the lightest stage, where you drift in and out of consciousness. Stage two is a slightly deeper sleep, and stage three, often referred to as deep sleep, is when the body repairs and regenerates tissue, builds bone and muscle, and strengthens the immune system. But the magic, or so it seems, truly happens during REM sleep. This is when most dreaming occurs. Our eyes dart back and forth behind closed lids, hence the name rapid eye movement. At this stage, our brains are nearly as active as when we're awake, painting vivid pictures and weaving intricate stories that we experience as dreams. Interestingly, the first REM period of the night may last only a few minutes, but with each cycle, REM sleep gets longer, with the final uh, episode potentially lasting up to an hour. And it's during these late night narratives where the plots thicken and the wildest of dreams come alive. So, next time you find yourself in a whimsical city or coming face to face with a childhood friend you haven't thought of in years, chances are you're deep in REM sleep, the stage where reality takes a back seat and the fantastical takes the wheel. But it's not all random. There's a method to this midnight madness, and that method is written by none other than our brain, the ultimate dream weaver. With the stage of sleep set, Let's investigate the brain's role in dreams and how it uses the quiet of the night to orchestrate the symphony of our dreams. The brain, a complex organ, plays a pivotal role in weaving the tapestry of our dreams. It's a maestro, painting images that play out in our sleep. The brain's activity during our dream state is a sink of electrical signals. Key players in this scenario are the hippocampus and the amygdala. The hippocampus deep within the brain transforms our daily experiences into lasting memories. These memories often resurface in our dreams. The amygdala processes our emotions, and it's particularly active when we dream. It gives our dreams their emotional intensity from joy to terror. The fuel for this neural activity lies in neurotransmitters. These chemical messengers, specifically serotonin and dopamine, regulate our mood, appetite, sleep and dream patterns. Our dreams are a product of brain regions and neurotransmitters working together. They're proof of the brain's ability to create narratives from memories and emotions. Yet the question remains, why do we dream at all? The brain's role in dreams is fascinating, but what are the theories behind why we dream? Theories about dreams offer insights into why we dream, shedding light on a landscape that is as captivating as it is elusive. So let's dive into this enigmatic world and start unraveling the why 
The first theory we encounter is the psychological perspective. Sigmund Freud, the father of psychoanalysis, believed that dreams are a window into our subconscious, a realm where our deepest desires, fears, and conflicts reside. He proposed that dreams are a form of wish fulfillment, allowing us to play out scenarios that we couldn't or wouldn't in our waking lives. But the psychological landscape of dream theories doesn't end with Freud. Carl Jung, a contemporary of Freud, saw dreams as a tool for personal growth and self-understanding. He suggested that dreams help us to integrate and reconcile different aspects of our personality, represented by various symbols and characters in our dreams. Now, let's take a leap from psychology to evolution. The evolutionary perspective posits that dreams have a biological purpose. Dreams, in this view, are a sort of mental rehearsal, preparing us for potential threats and challenges in our waking lives. By simulating different scenarios, our ancestors could practice their responses, enhancing their chances of survival. Another intriguing theory is the information processing theory. This perspective sees dreams as a way for our brains to sort through the day's experiences, deciding what to remember and what to forget. Dreams, then, are like a nighttime filing system, helping us to consolidate memories and learn from our experiences. And finally, we have the neurocognitive theory. This theory suggests that dreams are a byproduct of our brain's activity during sleep, particularly during the REM stage. It's like our brain is putting on a show using the random signals it's receiving. While these theories offer fascinating insights, it's important to remember that the world of dreams is still largely uncharted territory. Each of these theories offers a piece of the puzzle, but the full picture remains tantalizingly out of reach. While theories shed light on why we dream, what are the common themes that appear in our dreams? Dreams often contain common themes that transcend cultural and personal boundaries, acting as a universal language that connects us all. At times, our dreams are like abstract paintings, rich with symbolism and hidden meanings. Their interpretation can be a fascinating journey into the depths of our subconscious mind. Let's delve into some of the most common dream themes. Falling, for instance, is a theme that many of us have experienced. It's thought to symbolize a sense of losing control or fear of failure. Then there are dreams of flying, which often signify a desire for freedom or escape from the constraints of daily life. Dreams about being chased are also quite common. These might stem from feelings of anxiety or fear, indicating that we are avoiding something in our waking lives. On the other hand, dreams about losing teeth could symbolize concerns about appearance and how others perceive us. It's important to remember that these interpretations aren't set in stone. They can vary widely based on individual experiences, beliefs and cultural backgrounds. For instance, in some cultures, dreaming of a snake might be seen as an omen of bad luck, while in others it could symbolize transformation or healing. The world of dreams is a reflection of our personal lives, but it's also influenced by the collective consciousness. Our dreams can be shaped by societal norms, cultural beliefs and global events. That's why during significant events, people around the world might report having similar dreams. Understanding our dreams is like learning a new language, the language of our subconscious mind. It's a language that speaks in symbols and metaphors, expressing our deepest fears, desires and emotions. By paying attention to our dreams and their common themes, we can gain valuable insights into our inner selves and our shared human experience. From common themes, we move to a unique phenomenon in dreaming, lucid dreaming. Lucid dreaming, a fascinating phenomenon where the dreamer becomes aware they are dreaming. Imagine for a moment you are standing on the edge of a cliff with the wind blowing in your hair and the sea roaring beneath. Suddenly you realize it's not real, you are dreaming. This sudden realization is what we call lucid dreaming. It's like being the director of your own movie where you can control the narrative, the characters and even the scenery. Lucid dreaming is an intriguing concept that has captured the attention of scientists and dream enthusiasts alike. It's a state where the dreamer becomes conscious that they are in a dream, often enabling them to manipulate their dream environment and narrative. It's like having a playground in your mind where the laws of physics do not apply and the impossible becomes possible. So how does one become a conscious dreamer? It often starts with dream recall, the ability to remember your dreams. By keeping a dream journal and practicing reality checks throughout the day, one can train their brain to recognize the dream state. This practice, though requiring patience and persistence, opens up a world of possibilities from overcoming nightmares to enhancing creative thinking. But like all things, 
Lucid dreaming has its challenges. Some people may experience sleep paralysis or false awakenings, which can be disconcerting. Others may struggle with distinguishing dream from reality. It's a balancing act, maintaining awareness without disrupting the dream state. Yet the benefits of lucid dreaming often outweigh the challenges. It allows us to tap into a deeper part of our subconscious, confront our fears, and explore our innermost desires. It offers us a unique lens to view our dreams to understand them better. Lucid dreaming offers a unique perspective on dreams, but why do we often forget them? Uh, a scene script. Have you ever wondered why we forget most of our dreams? It's a curious question, isn't it? It's not as if our dreams are insignificant. In fact, they can be so vivid, so real, that it seems strange that they would just slip away from us. Let's delve into this. The mechanics of forgetting dreams largely boil down to how our brains function during sleep. When we sleep, our brains are busy processing and organizing the day's events, emotions, and memories. As a result, the brain's capacity to retain the fresh, complex narratives of dreams can be limited. Interestingly, it's during REM sleep, when most dreaming happens, that we experience a decrease in certain neurotransmitters associated with memory formation like norepinephrine and serotonin. This could be one reason why dreams are so elusive. Furthermore, the brain region called the prefrontal cortex, which plays a significant role in memory and attention, is less active during REM sleep. This diminished activity might contribute to our inability to remember dreams. But here's a fascinating twist. Just because we don't remember our dreams doesn't mean they're lost forever. Some researchers suggest that dreams are not forgotten, but rather stored in a part of our brain that's harder to access during waking hours. So how can we remember more of our dreams? One effective method is keeping a dream log or journal. By writing down dreams first thing in the morning, we can train our brains to hold on to these ephemeral nighttime narratives. A dream log not only helps us remember our dreams, but it can also reveal patterns and themes that might provide insights into our subconscious minds. But remember, whether we recall our dreams or not, they're an integral part of our complex mental lives. They reflect our emotions, our experiences, and our deepest thoughts. Dreams, a mysterious yet fascinating journey of the mind, continue to intrigue and mystify us. As we conclude this exploration into the science of dreams, let's take a moment to reflect on the journey we've embarked on. We've delved into the enigma of dreams, journeyed into dreamland, and studied the complex weavings of the brain during dream states. We've contemplated various theories, from psychological to evolutionary perspectives, and pondered the universal language of dream themes. We've also touched upon the intriguing world of lucid dreaming, where the dreamer gains awareness within the dream. All of this has painted a fascinating, albeit incomplete, picture of the science behind dreams. Yet the intrigue of dreams extends beyond the knowledge we currently hold. With every new dream, a fresh mystery presents itself, beckoning for understanding. The quest to comprehend dreams remains an active pursuit in the scientific community, reminding us of the infinite potential for discovery. Sleep provides restoration to our bodies and dreams provide mystery.